This is Aunt Shazie's Not So Shorts. Normally, we do videos of a minute or less, but today we're going to take a longer look at the Painted Mines Interpretive Park, about 45 miles east of Colorado Springs, Colorado. Here's a little bit of history, going way, way back. The clays of the paint mines were deposited 55 million years ago, when the area was the Castle Rock Tropical Hardwood Forest. As time passed, the land was covered by white sandstone, known as the Dawson Arcos Formation, and its existence is evidence of the uplift and erosion of Pikes Peak, America's mountain that you can see in the distance on your drive-in. Weathered by rain and wind, the layers produced the Badlands, Breaks, Gullies, and Hoodoos. Hoodoos are the fantastically shaped and weathered rocks and clay spires you will see. The area of the Painted Mines has evidence of human life going back as far as 9,000 years ago. Legend has it that long ago, before the arrival of settlers, indigenous tribes revered the paint mines as sacred ground. They believed that the colorful patterns etched into the rocks were gifts from the spirits infused with the essence of the earth itself. Each stroke of okra, crimson, and sienna told a story, weaving a tapestry of history that spanned generations. As centuries passed, Native Americans mined the areas for ceremonial paint and pottery and used the area for hunting. In more recent history, during the 1880s, settlers began to homestead the land, and in the 1900s, the clay was mined to make bricks. Today, the park features fantastic geological formations, including the spires and the hoodoo gullies and the exposed layers of jasper and selenite clay. The geological formations create natural drainages for wildlife. We, personally, and the several times we've been there, have never seen any of these, but although rare, you might see coyote, mule deer, pronghorn antelope, or shorthorn lizards. The area also supports a variety of birds like hawks, morning doves, magpies, and more, so keep your camera handy. As you're driving into the park, you might wonder if you're in the right place, as there's not much to see in the grasslands along the dirt road, but rest assured that you will soon see why they say colorful Colorado on the welcome signs as you drive into the state. Rich colors of yellow and purple, fiery red and earthy gray and brown make the park unique and worth visiting. The bright color bands are caused by oxidized iron compounds. Here's some fun facts about the park. The park is approximately 750 acres with four miles of trails and informational signage. You do not have to do all four miles to see the painted mines. Those are about a mile in. It's free to enter and open from dusk till dawn daily. If you go in the summer, there's no water available, very limited areas to sit down. Actually, I think there's only one bench on the way down to the, where you first see the painted mines, and there's very little shades. Drones, pads, and bikes are prohibited, but you can find more information on their website about what you can and can't do in the park. It's definitely worth the short drive if you live in Colorado Springs or if you're visiting the area.